tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles Schmidt Sports Complex. As the weather starts to cool down this fall, this is the time of year that I get a lot of phone calls about insect invaders or pests coming into houses. And these things might include box elder bugs, elm leaf beetles, which has certainly been a huge pest problem this year with our trees, um, millipedes, crickets, even spiders. And this is the time of year that they're trying to find a warm place to survive the winter. And so this is when I get those phone calls. Now there are various ways to help prevent some of these things from ever becoming a problem in the house in the first place. And one of those is simply just to try to make your home as tight as you can with, um, you know, checking your screens, making sure there's no holes, making sure there's no cracks or crevices where things can enter and caulking around those places to try and prevent those things from entering the, in the first place. You can also use insecticides and there are different ways to do that. There are homeowner products on the market or you can hire an exterminator to go around and actually spray around the window sills, spray along the foundation and the door frames and that too will help to prevent some of those things from coming in. Now all of those insect I insects that I mentioned, including spiders, aren't really harmful. Um, they're more of a nuisance than anything else, although they may, you know, stain some linens or um, just chew on some stuff, they're not really harmful to humans at all. So it's not a huge concern, but I know a lot of people do not like to have them in their house. If you do end up with some of those insects indoors, a lot of times the easiest thing to do is just to vacuum them up with your vacuum cleaner, um, use a fly swatter, or you can also use some insecticides for indoor use to help prevent some of those or kill the insects that are there. If you have questions about insect damage or insects invading your home this fall, contact your local Extension office for more information. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension and Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Extension Agent. Tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles-Schmidt Sports Complex.